Alright, think of that people, it is DZM14 and you know it's the end of the year and yeah I just did the freestyle but I just want to talk to you for a moment. Yeah, just take a moment to review the year because this year really has been crazy for me. I'm not gonna lie, I mean start the year I uh, I ended up dating someone living in Chicago, which didn't last. I mean they uh the week we she broke up with me, um because of distance, obviously, because I'm obviously English, England. Although she did come from Devon, but anyway. She started to call me husband, which is weird because we were only dating. It's a funny story how we met, actually. Um, I would, uh, so on Facebook, there was a post about, you know, girls with small boobs, and I just said, you know, it doesn't make any less of all when, you know, small boobs are fine, small, small boobs are great, you know. Um, and a lot of guys were like, oh, yeah, this guy, you know, calling me gay and all that shit and it's fine but the girls were loving it and you know she she messaged me and she was like oh it was a really nice way of saying it. and i know it sounds like i i would try and just like oh i'm, I'm just saying that just because i, I want to get some it, it wasn't like that at all it's just because i am um, i just honestly think there's enough like low self-esteem with women and their confidence because of what magazines expect of them i just wanted to bring some positive energy and just let them know that they're beautiful no matter what, you know? Anyway, that happened, and then as soon as she broke up with me, the same night, pretty much my ex started talking to me, and then we started dating, and then shit hit the fan there, and so, you know? Um, yeah, I've been doing, like, Badoo and Tinder, well, Badoo this year, um, mostly, because it's just better and stuff, um, met a few people, um, don't know really where things are going, um, I met one girl in Swindon, and, yeah, I still love her, but I made a mistake, and now I'll never ever speak to her again, that hurts, but, you know, you've got to take responsibility for your actions at the end of the day and I still got my friend to message her because she obviously blocked me and to wish her a happy birthday at least just be, just to let her know that you know I remembered and that I still care um my brother uh my brother when I say my brother he's not r literally my brother but he's like m my metaphorical brother so um he uh he suffers from Epilepsy, and he had a seizure in my bedroom, um, which was quite scary. Um, it was okay afterwards; he, he was fine, and sorted. But it was a split second from where we were playing. Like, I thought he was just joking, but then I realised no, he's having a seizure. Shit! Ironically, he made the joke that ironically we were playing video games. We were playing a game called Human F Four Flat, which he saw the funny side of him having a seizure and us playing the game. Um, but yeah, it was scary. It still kind of messes with me to, to this day. So I, I'm still like, you know, are you, are you taking meds? Make sure, just, just go, I, I, I worry about him and stuff. And I worry about all my friends. Um, but yeah, um, see what else has happened. I mean, work's been pretty good. Um, ups and downs, swings and roundabouts. But t t today was a really good day because we were all in, me and my colleague were putting each other in stitches it was great lots of good jokes but yeah i mean it's been, it's been a it's been a hard year we've lost so many celebrities like stanley for instance i mean you know he, he was one of the greats we've lost so many other people i it's just it's just mental i mean i uh, i've lost my half brother recently um well not half brother step brother step brother um which i've still condoling over um but yeah i mean i've made some new good new friends which is great um we kindled the flames with some old ones um but yeah i uh played some great games like red dead redemption 2 we had red dead redemption 2 that was great spyro remastered brilliant um spider-man platinum that that was pretty good um although the dlc the second dlc it sucks well, when I say it sucks, I mean it's tough. But, 
I've got my Kingdom Hearts 3 pre-ordered, and I got the full package, so I've got Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 and 2.8 to do. I did uh, Kingdom Hearts 1, just got to do, finish off re the Chain of Memories, and then uh, Breath by uh, 3.82 days or something like that, and then it's Kingdom Hearts 2, then it's recoded, and then it's Birth by Sleep. Think and then it's Kingdom Hearts 3, which releases on the 29th of January in this country. And tomorrow I'm going to be watching a uh, series of unfortunate events, season three. That should be good. And downloading uh, PlayStation's PS4 games. I got myself a GameCube finally. I uh, haven't played it since I got it, but yeah, I got Luigi's Mansion and Super Mario Sunshine, so that's great. Luigi's Mansion was the main game I wanted to get, so you know. Um, I uh, yeah. I got Assassin's Creed Origins as well, they're pretty good, yeah. Picked up some new clothing, like this top, everybody knows I'm a savage, ha, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I did a lot of free stars recently, um, so I can add that to my repertoire. Done a good couple of drawings, um, made a Halloween movie, you've probably seen it. it, I know it was terrible, but I'm thinking of ways to make it better, uh, I mean, for the next couple of movies. Um, been writing a lot of stories started writing new stories uh, one day i'm just gonna get all my stories on, a, on on my screen and i'm just gonna go at each one just typing see what happens i really need to start planning that stuff but yeah no it's been a it's it's been a real hectic year and i know you know people have had good parts of the year and i've, I've had good parts of my year uh, of the year too but I've been alone all year. Like, I have not interacted with a girl intimately for a whole year. The, the closest thing I did was kissing my friend on the cheek. But, you know, as you do with friends, you know. But I'm glad people like their presents that I got them. Um, I like the Secret Santa gift that I got. It was a, it was a self-help book about, you know, whoops, being being you it's got a great bunch of quotes on here in here one of my favorite ones is i've seen it on the top before life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass it's about learning to dance in the rain in the rain yeah i got a christmas joke book which is kind of outdated now but for the for the sake of it let's read a joke did you hear about the guy who got drunk and collapsed in a heap beside the bar it caused a major delay in the gymnastic competition Ah! I get it. <laughs> but yeah. Um, recently, literally just like five minutes ago, I've, I've just realised that I'm, I like Amaretto and Coke. Ooh, strong kick. That's what you need to see out the new year. I have drank a lot more this year than I did last year, but then again, I did start drinking like a week before my birthday, and my birthday's in December, so... But yeah. No, it's been it's been great. I, I found out that I like Bucks Fizz Whiskey. I like, found out that I like Emma Retto. I mean, I, I know I, I like Strongbow and everything. So there's that. Um, what else is there? Oh, been some good movies. Um, Venom, Spider-Man: Homecoming. I think that came out this year, which was great. Deadpool 2, fucking fantastic. Um, uh, can't wait for Avengers: Endgame next year. Avengers: Infinity War was really good. Or was it? No. Avengers Endgame comes out in 2020, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, Venom. That was a good film. I think I just said that. But yeah. Good film. Uh, House with Clocks in the Swarms with Jack Black. It was awesome, man. Yeah. Picked up a few new impressions. Um, some refined old ones like uh, Liam Neeson. Hello there. I am Liam Neeson. I may not be able to find you, but I will kill you. Somewhere. Um, Mickey Mouse, so he's come better. I ain't go for you. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Yo, Earlier on at work, while I was in the bathroom, I was doing um, noises of like animals, like uh, a pigeon. <coughs> Damn pigeon fodder. Um, having fun with like the tongue twisters and stuff. Shelly South seashells on the seashore. But yeah. Uh, I look like, um, I don't look like, but it's like, um, 
Leonardo DiCaprio in that one thing, like, that's like, but yeah, so, I mean, I hope next year is better, I mean, but not just for me, but for everyone, because we need 2019 to be our year, you know, so much stuff has happened this year, we need to, I think 2019 needs to be the cooling period, at least, just to take it nice and easy, but yeah. Should be great. Oh, that's the point. I can't wait for Life is Strange episode two. Sorry, Life is Strange two, uh, episode two. Can't wait for that. That's gonna be great. Life is Strange is a really great game if you haven't played it yet. Um, so yeah. Um, what else can I talk about? I mean, you know, I've talked about being heartbroken and all that stuff, and I don't want to go too into too into detail with it because obviously I don't want it incriminate well not not incriminate but like um drop names or like you know talk about people you know that might see this video you know um but one thing i am happy about okay so i will drop this one name i have a friend called alicia um and we met like well years ago like back in 2015 we hung out once i forgot her voice but recently, this year, halfway through, I would say, we actually managed to start talking on the phone. So I remember a voice and everything, which is, sounds as amazing as it should do. Um, but we've really been there for each other this year, you know, me, me and my friends, you know. Um, we've got on closer. I mean, everything's been great, you know. Um, I just... I honestly, generally hope that 2019 is better for all of us um how long have i been talking now 12 minutes okay basically my um webcam does not pick up the sound anymore so i'm using audacity and that's why it sounds so clear or it doesn't i don't know but honestly i just wanted to make this video aside from like the, the freestyle that i uploaded and i just wanted to bring things down and just make things a little bit more personal a bit more serious i can't wait to do st stuff in the new year i would love more people to get involved with it um and if you do feel like you want to get involved with it please let me know because i'm always looking for more people to work with um but yeah i um i think that about does it for me um not really much more i could say um, there's some, been some funny moments, some funny memes of 2018. And I can't wait to see what 2019 brings. I'm hopeful, I'm optimistic, not too optimistic, but I am interested to see what happens. So, uh, for the last time in 2018, this is, uh, DZM14. Zach Nicholas signing off take it easy guys happy new year